of it's time for that Culture for the Street podcast. Smash that like button because we're back in these YouTube streets. So, we got to talk about Monroe artist, Double Cooter, SG Chapo, arrested for shooting the bleeders. Now, I, for those who don't know what's going on, man, real bleeder and cold bleeder ended up getting shot at the Monroe Walmart gas station, I want to say about a week ago, you know what I mean? And I, like I said, I'm a fan of the Baton Rouge music culture. Like, I listen to all the niggas. But not to get off subject, I happened to see Real Bleeder post that he was at a nail shop or whatever, getting his feet manicured or whatever. And I guess that's where he dropped the location where he was at. And these little dudes from Monroe came and did what they did. But here's the thing. I didn't know who did it. I was listening to the comments. I mean, looking at the comments, you know, one thing about social media, these niggas don't mind telling on each other. All you got to do is post it and they going to say what happened, when it happened, and where. But it was a lot of people rapping on it saying this group did it, this group did it. But... These little niggas from Monroe came out of nowhere, had a diss record already made. The little nigga rapping like real bleeder and everything. And once I paid attention to the the, the lyrics, the little nigga said something about 80K, they hopped up in that car. And I'm like, these niggas gonna get enough of testifying on they self, bro. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas gonna get enough or telling the internet what you done did to a nigga. So now, the little rap career, your little buzz that you did have going on, is over with. All because you went to social media trying to prove to everybody that you did something to them boys. You feel me? Now, with the little nigga double cooter, you got a probation violation. Both of y'all got second degree murder. You feel me? And a couple other stupid charges or whatever. But you niggas is not finna come home, bro. Y'all just threw y'all whole life away. All because y'all want to run to the internet. You feel me? Talk about some ADK you hopped up in the car. Now, I'm pretty sure them folks gonna ask you, like, what you mean by ADK? Did somebody put a bounty on them boys? And y'all came up there and did what y'all did? Now y'all niggas finna go to the feds. Y'all out of here, y'all hope and then what make it so bad, these little niggas is young. Y'all go get enough of running to the internet telling these people what y'all did, man. And another thing, niggas gotta be careful with the females that they messing around with in these small cities because allegedly they saying that real bleeder and cold bleeder was messing with some females down there in Monroe. You know what I mean? If I'm if y'all let me know if I'm wrong, y'all get down in there in the comments and let me know what's going on. But from my previous video, allegedly somebody was saying that these boys were down there talking to some females and these other little niggas felt some type of way they got mad and they went with their mood. They were saying, like, this situation don't got nothing to do with the vultures and bad rules and nothing like that. These some Monroe niggas trying to gain some gain some clout off the bleeders. But y'all get down there in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about this situation, man. I'm gone.